Hello guys, so I will now be doing you guys a tutorial on how to make yourself an, uh, a see-through damage model like the one I have here Oops, that is not the right one. Oh, should I close it off? Let's do this Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. So like this one, I mean. Photoshop is opening up on the left side right now. Here it is. As you can see, I got the alpha channel. So when I go RGB with the alpha channel, every bit of damage is marked red. As well, so yeah. I'll show you how to make this but first of all we got to make the damage file so we'll go back to user skins me262a1a drag that to the to here drag this one right there and uh, remove this one then we'll put this one apply make it fit and then we'll put another one of the damage, but in another screen. Like that. So, um... We also might need the other user skin again. This one. The undamaged one of the, um, custom skin. Open that in another tab. So, we now have three tabs we'll be working with. A tab with both the damaged and the undamaged regular templates one with just a damage template and one with the working customized template this skin this right here is made by um, lv1 underscore nev1y and the topic that is skins let's open it up for you guys go to the first page for a moment first page here it is so what we are gonna do now as a first thing is go to the one with both the damage file and the regular file as you can see right here you want to press right mouse button and go to blending options here where you see a um, general blending and with blend mode you got to set it from normal to difference oops wrong click difference press ok then you will come up with this what you'll have to do now is right mouse button with this button the uh, rectangular mark tool or the polygonal lasso tool I always use this one because that's the easiest one I can grab and you color range You'll probably start out with something like this. You'll probably slide it completely to the right to see, but that's not how I do it. I usually I click on the white stuff like this and drag it all the way to the left. Or let's get a better white like that. Yes, I drag it to the left to around 17. I do. 17 is best for me in my opinion. And I press OK and now you see everything is selected, even the border. So we go to select and do inverse. So we only have the um, necessary parts selected. What we do now is go to the damage file, right mouse button and do blending options again. Go to mode difference, set it back to normal. And then do this layer via copy. As you can see, now we got a layer with the damage itself you can do this for like almost every plane there is in the game as you can see let's check let's take a look at differences you can see might see there are some minor differences right here with the uh, shading a bit here as well here but you can't perfectionize it like the regular one because that would take a lot a lot of time this is just a very fast way very easy way to do it 
so we now have the um, this file what we want to do now is get this one and just you know what I'll open a backup it's this one so I'll drag it back on here apply it and uh, put it right into the corner like this then I'm gonna put the um, damage layer on top like that what we want to do now is go to this one to the damage.tga1 as you can see this is the completely original one just the background it says and you see here alpha 1 this is what makes the holes see through uh, let's check you can see duplicate channel but let's not do that you just have to press this circle right down at the bottom to select the, um, the parts but you still got the side selected so that's something we don't want so you go inverse and only the important bits are marked now now you do um, control C or copy and paste it right on this one so you'll click on the alpha one and just do control V like that and put those visible again and then zoom in on a certain part where you can see it fine and just move it around oh it's only perfect spot actually that's great as you can see some are not see-through but they aren't on the real skin let's take a look yeah um, RGB as you can see these holes aren't see-through as you might have expected already but it's kinda neat this way it's a very fast way of doing it the easiest way and I'll now show you guys a screenshot uh, let's go back to more center screenshots oops that's config let's Put it back like that. Um, screenshots. Go all the way down. Oops, that meant to open it. Well, now we can actually zoom in. As you can see. See through. You can see through here. See through. Let's open another one. This one. Break it just on top there. As you can see, it's see-through. These pictures aren't high quality or anything. See-through here. So they're not black holes. Let's search for another one. Where you can see the tail a bit better. Like that. See. You can see the ground through that. Through there. It's it, The holes just get transparent, so... Yeah. That's basically how to do this kind of trick on how to make a damage model. So what you want to do now is go to file, save as um, target.tga and just select the one you want to replace. We'll go to the 262 red 13 folder. Uh, this is the one that is this skin actually. I already have it like that. 60 megabytes is this file so let's check if it will still be 60 megabytes if I replace it user skins 262 red 13 16 megabytes there you go alpha channel and everything so this skin is finished for LV1 Navi Y or Nav1Y. I'll put his um, name in the description and also his um, skin thread in the topic of this video where it's placed just to give credits for the nice skin made. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this and uh, well make some nice skins I would say make some nice skins indeed